Good evening, ladies and gents. My name is not Helzu. Actually, my name is Ted. And I am, among other things, a musician. Which you just saw as I am slowly, slowly creating a song that I will probably and hopefully soon share on my channel. But this is not why I'm making this video today. This is gonna be kind of a hard one for me because I usually don't feel comfortable just talking about myself or the things that I do in terms of what I'm trying to do or where I am in life. I mostly want to just talk about stuff and talk about the topics that I use, uh, make reviews, discuss some things with you or just look for some engagement in forms of just making a small debate or just hearing your opinions, the usual content that you see on my channel. But no, um, this video is a bit of a personal opening from me and I wanted to make this video ever since I reached a thousand subscribers because for me that was a big milestone and I wanted to celebrate it and call me tradition or something but because a lot of YouTubers and content creators do this sort of thing I wanted to do that as well however I never got around to it because there was a lot of things happening and there are a lot of things happening right now some changes in uh, life in my daily work schedule that prevent me from uploading as much as i used to let's say a month ago but anyways um i want to just have this video up here to get you to kind of understand what i'm trying to do why i'm here get to get you to know a little bit about me and hopefully i'll get to know a little bit about you in the future as i am trying to build the the community that it's slowly happening on my channel yeah uh rambling mode is on uh this video is going to be nothing but me rambling and try to gather my thoughts i'll do as less edits as possible because i i just i don't want this to be some curated narrated or whatever video that's sometimes comes out like with the edits and with everything so anyways i've watched a lot of these these videos like i'm the, the one i'm doing right now and the several questions that almost every person that i've watched the video of answers is uh first of all why am i doing why are you doing youtube and in my case uh there's several very simple and very probably basic or just standard reasons one of them is because i'm having fun uh, it's fun to discuss, to talk about stuff, to reveal things, to dive deep and just learn about the topic that uh, caught your eye and just uh, read the updates later, possibly discover something on your own, even make a prediction and when you make a prediction to just see it happen or not happen, whatever you did to just share your opinion on the internet and even have it criticized even that is fun in a certain way because you get to see the other point and if the other side's point is concise and very well presented you might actually have an interesting conversations without any sort of uh, just personal attacks or just stupid insults or whatever just having a good share of your opinion like they have done in the old times and that we did back when people could take a different opinion more casually and better than now because today everyone seems to be taking any opinion worse than they used to do it before and it's understandable however i am looking for that ground that we could just have a discussion and respect each other's opinions without just lashing out against each other so this is the first reason that i'm doing the second reason is because in doing in doing something that i find fun i also wanted to be meaningful and to not just post the absolute cringiest stuff for money but i do want to eventually make this into a ink source of income and in the best scenario possible to make it the source of income because currently i have a day job and i am at my day job at minimum nine hours every day every weekday that is excluding the travel costs the the travel time and the time to get back to decompress to just get myself into the mood to be able to talk concisely after a whole day of talking to people, writing stuff and do the things that I do at my job. So these are nine hours that if I have, uh, one thing is for sure, I'll be able to sit down and 
have a lot more time to uh, do edits, to do finishing touches, to even do different type of content like skits, like music videos, like some short scenarios that I, I, I do have a lot of ideas for that. I'll be able to start writing again. Yeah, uh, spoiler, I am an amateur writer. I write short stories and uh, also song lyrics and stuff like that. I'll be able to play more music instruments. I play guitar, I play bass, I sing as well uh, in my band. But yeah, those nine hours will be able to make me just do a lot more content and utilize what skills I have ac accumulated. And if I am able to make YouTube as a viable source of income for the country that I in, which incidentally is much less as to whereas if I lived in another country in let's say Western Europe or America or Canada or any other country like here one of the good things is it doesn't take much and then I'll be able to just expand and do even more and then expand the channel more and that's we'll just just start to accumulate and go up and up and up eventually I'll be able to actually have a very good uh, living situation which will enable me to just do more and expand and again and again and again and there's a third reason uh, which is tied to the previous one which is I really do care and do love animals and one of the things that is very close to my heart and I want to make the best impact into changing it is stray animals, homeless animals, animals in shelters. We have abundance of them here in the country where I live and in the city where I live in especially. For an example, just around the building that I live in, we have a pack of 16 cats, which are circling around every day. We have several dogs. There are several buildings across the street that they have their own packs and they're multiplying and nobody can catch them and spay or neuter them in order to just stop this because they're very crafty they go in the basements but they still are animals that are very loving very cute and they are trying to just survive out there and those are some of the things that i want to have an impact into helping into taking care of and which is why i have my patreon page which is listed in the description below uh, of the video and on that Patreon, I, any member that subscribes to the, that page is basically giving money for me and my uh, girlfriend going to buy food for the cats, buy wood materials so I can go and eventually build a house. I'll show you there's a clip which is me on my terrace which I have turned into a small workshop which is very messy I agree and this is where I'll be working this is my terrace and as you can see it is a complete mess because I've been working here for a long time you see a little resin stain there because I used to do tables I see I got a lot of uh, wood material and this is basically the main thing that I'm going to be using on the house with a little bit of help of some of this wood material over here. Hopefully I'll be able to do it until the end of the month with the help of this little thing. <laughs> it's cool. And I have turned this place into just a living place where I can gather some materials and possibly I'll be able to make let's say one, two, three houses at least for this year and help animals to be able to hide, to be able to be a, a little bit warmer this winter and not just go around in the cold because it really gets cold here in the winter. This also expands to future endeavors where I plan to continue to donate money to charity organizations and non-profit organizations here and internationally for the helping of stray animals, for the housing of them, for carrying out adoption programs and such and such. If you see my community posts here on YouTube, I did make one payment from accumulated amounts from patreon to one such organization and i posted a video on my patreon uh, just yesterday where we were feeding some stray cats before going to work so these are the three main reasons i want to continue doing youtube continue doing some stuff this, this, this question is what i what i've seen being answered a lot because it's good uh, psychologically to know the motivation behind a person's uh existence on this platform or anywhere else probably some of the other questions that 
I do see people can answer this. What do you want to accomplish personally? And I can answer that question with the previous examples. However, if, if I'm absolutely honest, I also want to one day move to the countryside and have like the, the simple life, the garden, the animals, the dogs, the cats, etc. etc. So th these are the dreams that I dream of. And at 34, I do think that the time is a little bit closing in where I, where I just want to fulfill as many dreams as possible um the third question is like if i do uh, the third questions that i think someone might actually be interesting after hearing the previous two is like what else do i do and the answer to that question is first and foremost i'm a musician i'm a guitarist mid guitarist if i have to say absolutely honestly i also do a bit of woodworking and as i mentioned writing songwriting and i want to incorporate all of these things into my channel because this channel is called discuss things and i do enjoy discussions i do enjoy communicating with people but i also enjoy my other hobbies and i do have a thought of incorporating everything that i do on the sites and when i have time into this channel as of course, if it's something interesting for the people that are watching me. Told you I was going to Rambo. And yeah, pretty much this is me explaining a little bit about myself. And don't 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 think that, like if anyone wants to ask me uh, any question, uh, you're free to message me on any of the socials that I have listed below. Uh, I'm on X. I don't think and I will check, double check, but I don't think that my DMs are closed. So if anyone wants to connect with me, I'll be happy to. Uh, I also tend to try at least to respond to any comment here left on YouTube. And the only thing that I, I can, if like it, if a video becomes a bit more popular than like 50, 60 comments in the span of, let's say, a day and I'm at work and I just, there, there's some comments that I haven't gotten to it yet. And if anyone who posted the comment and hasn't received an answer from me sees this, I am sorry. And I would like to respond to your comment and to communicate with you as well. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to share. And in addition, if you want to support what I'm trying to do here, like uh, build a community, uh, help the animals and just grow on YouTube and just do a better content uh as time progresses you can either click the join button and become a disgusting enthusiast i only have one tier because i'm giving as far as i can reach so one tier is all i can do now because i can't offer anything more for higher tiers and i don't think it's fair for me to request more from you without giving you something more so this is just now and of course the patreon page where you i am using a hundred percent of any proceeds there to just help animals i know some people have told me just do a gofundme page or do a campaign or do whatever i i don't want to resort to gofundme or any other campaigns for this because i want to be as direct as possible in promoting something like that i would post links to different charity organizations so people can go and directly fund the charity organizations online or i will and i am in contact with some charity organizations here so i can promote them on my channel and probably create a special link from here for something special but i don't want to make a campaign unless it's for some very huge event that gofundme would be able to help with that with this i am just uh receiving the funds like by monthly or as or whenever patreon sends it and i am using 100 percent of them just to buy the the baron says like food like if there's a possibility to even see if if we see a injured cat like the other day and just if possible catch it and provide some veterinary care so it can last longer or even grow up and dominate the neighborhood like some do in front of our building and this is exactly what those uh proceeds are for because in my house there are currently three cats all rescues and it's just the maximum that we can manage right now it believe me if i could i would just go around with a shovel scoop them all up take them home and just take care of all of them at once but the apartment is not that big and you still need to take it into the factor that the very serious factor like if the animals will either adapt and if they will exist with each other in such an environment so for now three cats is the maximum we are 
holding it together they're doing just fine and they're coexisting peacefully and it's a relief of a sort because those are three rescued cats from trust me gruesome fates and i'll probably even show you one of the stories and tell you more about it because this was a crazy crazy story that we have been to it involved the police it involved some unsavory people who are our neighbors and it's it was just a crazy crazy story to be told okay uh rambling is kind of over i don't have any script for this video uh if you have taken the time to watch this video up until this point i just want to thank you you're absolutely great you're a legend and every every view every person who likes comments subscribes is uh an absolute legend uh, in my opinion and i want to hear from each and every one of you i want everyone to be comfortable to communicate and to just express their opinions to just debate to say say their piece and say what they think even if you even, even if you want to like just hate on it or whatever i don't care it's still great that you're voicing your opinion and with that yeah it's all i have to say for this video thank you for suffering through this much if you feel like supporting me press the like button on this video subscribe to my channel and press the join button if you want to support me directly in me growing my channel and growing my content if you want to help the stray animals the patreon link is down in the description below and 100 percent of the proceeds go for the help of homeless animals and animals in shelters thank you i have been hills this was truly disgusting and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers and stay fresh